little friends, did you see? I am so sorry for all you had to go through, but it's going to be all right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let, let's read this one. Theme, original sin based on the current Pokemon world. Why do I feel like this is going to be a travesty? I hope there's like 10,000 of these. It's just crazy. It's like fan fiction, but it ain't because it was written by creators or devs or something. Like, uh, who wrote these? That's what I want to know. In the distant past, when the boundary between human... We still blurring. Yeah, that girl in that Typhlosion, they, they've they been they've been blurring. They've been, they've been very blurring. There was a woman and her companions. Every day they were bored, so they would often catch Slackoth living in the nearby forest. They played cruel games with the captured Slackoth, sometimes killing them for fun, gouging out their eyes or cutting off their ears. <laughs> Yo, this goes hard. She's a little psychopath. Damn. Alright, one day the woman was walking alone in the forest and saw Slackoth hanging from a tree. <laughs> By the time she was done with it, it was hanging from a tree. <laughs> she climbed the tree to catch it, but it slipped and injured herself. At that moment, a Vigoroth appeared. Oh shit, that thing would kill. That thing would absolutely kill a person. This Vigoroth had a torn ear. Uh-oh. The woman, startled, tried to flee, but her injured leg hurt too much and she couldn't move. The Vigoroth with the torn ear suddenly attacked her when it saw her. The woman lost consciousness. Yeah, those things don't even sleep. When she awoke, she was in an unfamiliar place. Before her lay a clear lake surrounded by trees from which many Slackoth and Vigoroth were hanging. Oh. All the Pokemon bore wounds somewhere on their bodies. Marks left by the woman and her companions. Well, this is awkward. Upon closer inspection, she noticed that some of the Slackoth hanging from the trees were corpses. Oh, did I? Did I call that? <laughs> they were the very Slackoth that the woman and her friends had killed and discarded. The Slackoth were throwing those corpses onto the lake. Terrified, the woman tried to run away, but a Slacking appeared. The Slacking also had a torn ear. The woman realized that this was the same Vigoroth that she had seen earlier, and fear overwhelmed her, causing her to faint once more. Uh-oh, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> why, why do I feel like she's about to get, like, mauled and ripped apart? When the woman regained consciousness, she found herself at the entrance of the forest near her home, surrounded by her friends. They carried her back to her house. What? Sometime later, the woman gave birth to a child. Oh. I see. Okay. But it wasn't a human child. It was a slack off. She intended to abandon it, but she couldn't bring herself to do so. She stopped meeting with her friends and decided to raise the slack off. Alright, one day her friends, concerned about her, visited the area near her home. They found the slack off sleeping there, the child of the woman. As they always did, they caught the slack off, stabbed it in the chest, and killed it. They took its corpse and headed to the woman's house. When she saw the thin, the slain Slackoth, the woman was overwhelmed with sorrow. She grabbed the, bo the Slackoth's body and ran deep into the forest. Her friends, shocked, chased after her. As they ventured... Th again, zero to one thousand! As they ventured deeper into the forest, the surroundings suddenly opened up, and they found the same clear lake from before. Around the lake were many Slackoth and Vigoroth. The woman stood before the lake... Holding and holding the lifeless body of the Slackoth, she threw herself into the water. Afterwards, the woman, be, woman's friends began to treat Slackoth as companions, just as she had in her final moments. That's the story of Original Sin? Okay, that is so dark. Oh, she did not get mauled and ripped apart. She got... She got... You know, yeah. uh, 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 Okay, <laughs> Lilith over here, making friends with the mammals of the forest. Oh, that's dark. That's really dark. First of all, the fact that she's like a gang of people just like killing these Pokemon for fun. Uh, and, and I guess this is nature's retribution. They're like, hey, you don't like Slacka? Let's give you a Slacka. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> These are absolutely insane. <laughs> There's one about an octillery too. This is great. Now octillery's gonna make a brand new friend. You think octillery's gonna fall for this? 
Okay, here we go. Octillery time. <laughs> Theme, the collapse of culture and relationships. There was a time when the boundary between Pokemon and humans was blurred <laughs> in a coastal village. I don't know if I'm separating this out into separate videos or keeping it all as one giant thing, but <laughs> if I do separate videos... You, you know the story's great when it begins with when the boundary between Pokemon and humans was blurred. In a coastal village, there was a man. One day, as he was walking along the shore, he found a female octillery washed up on the beach. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Wait, it just goes right into the man had relations with the artillery and then threw it back into the sea. <laughs> All right. I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs> this is so crazy. The next day, he went to the same spot and found the artillery, the same artillery again. He once more had relations with it and threw it back into the sea as before. I love how they got <laughs> I love how they gone from increasing, like, subtlety. <laughs> like, the first one's like, oh, and they slept in the cave, and then they ate berries. Oh, by the way, the next day, they slept in the cave, and they ate berries. This continued for a while. And then the other story is like, oh, she, she saw a vigor off. She fainted. She woke up, slaw slacking, and then she fainted. Both of them had surprise babies. <laughs> now here is just like, oh, he found it. He had relations with it. All right. One night, after several days had passed, the man had a dream. In the dream, the artillery spoke to him. I cannot come to you, but I will deliver our child to you. It is our child, yours and mine. He was like, oh, I was not expecting this development to occur. The next morning, the man went to the place where he had found the, met the artillery. There, he found a boy. The man took the boy home and raised him. Time passed, and the boy grew into a young man, and the father passed away. The young man was always lonely. <laughs> One day as the young man was walking along the shore, he saw a group of people playing in the distance. They all held very large swords in their hands as they danced. The young man approached the people, and as he got closer, he saw that Sharpedo were playing along the beach. When he tried to get even closer, the Sharpedo suddenly... Ah... Uh... Leapt into the sea all at once. The the Sharpedo, okay. However, one of the Sharpedo li lingered, looking around three times before swimming away. Hmm. At the spot where the Sharpedo had been playing, there was a large sword lying on the ground. Wait. Sh people? Okay, so he mistook the people for Sharpedo. Okay, interesting. Wow, people must have been looked crazy back in the day. He hit the spot where the Sharpedo had been playing. There was a large sword lying on the ground. There was It was a shape he had never seen before. Very sharp and pointed. The young man took the sword home. It's a Sharpedo. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next day, the young man took the sword and went to the forest. While walking through the forest, he encountered an Earth Ring. Oh, God. He tried slashing at the Earth Ring's mouth with the sword, and the mouth was easily severed. Jesus! Next, he stabbed the Earth Ring's eyes, and they were easily pierced. Finally, the young man thrust the sword into the Earthring's chest, and the Earthring died effortlessly. This man just killed a bear outside. That day, the young man killed 30 Earthring! He's a murderer! After that, he always carried the sword with him, playing by injuring the Pokemon he encountered or cutting off parts of their body. Why are people such assholes back in the day? One autumn, when the young man was searching for firewood... Uh, my guy, you're part artillery! Have some respect for them, for the animals. Search for firewood, he lost his way. After walking for a while, he stumbled upon an Ursaring's den. Inside, there was an elderly Ursaring lying down. The elderly Ursaring looked at the young man and said, Come inside. Oh, oh no. The young man hesitated, but as it was getting dark, he entered the den. Before long, people began to enter the den one after the other, filling the room completely. Looking closer, he saw that all the people had scarred faces and some were missing their eyes. They were chatting amongst themselves, but the young man ignored them and fell asleep. At one point, he woke up... <laughs> don't... If you're in an old Pokemon lore story, don't fall asleep. <laughs> At one point, he woke up to find the elderly Ursaring lying beside him. He fell asleep again. When he woke once more, there were many people around talking about something. Uh, again, the young man ignored them and went back to sleep. <laughs> You're in a cave with an old stranger 
and a ton of people, other strangers, who who are who are injured, keep walking in. How are you sleeping comfortably? When the spring arrived, when spring arrived, the elderly Earthring spoke. Do you want to go home? Then I shall send you home. With a return, a whale lord will soon be found near the village. Go there. We will send a man. You must leave the sword behind and bring a witness. What the heck? Yeah, why did you do such things? Cutting faces and slicing off noses. I will say, the Pokemon seem to be really chill. <laughs> with, their, with their people getting just massacred. They're like... <laughs> Here's a baby. Here, give us a sword. You can't have that, but here, have a baby. All right. The elderly Earthring escorted the young man back to the village. He didn't even answer. He didn't even answer the Earthring. So he just, wait, he just, I'm trying to figure out. So he just see, wakes up, sees people talking, goes back to sleep, and then they're, the, and then the Earthring's like, yo, I'm, I'm sending you home because y you've been doing bad stuff. A whale lord will be found? Yeah. You must leave the sword behind. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's... What? Th these are trippy. The elderly Earthring escorted the young man back to the village. Upon his return, the young man recounted everything that had happened to the villagers. The following morning, the young man took some villagers with him and headed to the shore. As they walked along the coast, they found a large whale lord. Nearby on the beach was a teddy Ursa. Oh, God. Oh, God! When, when it noticed the young man, the teddy Ursh uh, hid in the forest, and a large Ursaring came out in its place. Okay. As the Ursaring charged at him, the young man tried to draw the sword he had hidden, but it got stuck, and he couldn't pull it out. So he rushed at the Ursaring with his bare hands. I think the Ursaring has even more powerful bare hands. The young man and the Ursaring grappled, punching each other's faces. They strangled each other with all of their strength, and so they choked each other to death, collapsing on top of one another. The villagers went back, and the others, w what they had seen. That's the end? The collapse of culture and relation... Okay. That one was just weird. That one was just trippy. Uh, wh what went down in that weird Ursaring cave, though? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like these are all symbolic. And why do I feel like in the actual lore of Pokemon, I feel like these aren't history. I feel like these are just like fables to like scare children. They're like scary ass bedtime stories. I don't know. They, these are creepy. <laughs> oh God. They're like, don't be mean to Pokemon or else you'll end up giving birth to a Slackoth. <laughs> I don't know. What is going on here? These are so weird. I still don't get what's going on with the Typhlosion. Like, did it shapeshift? Is it a Zoroark? Like, uh, 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 there's so many confusions. <laughs> or are the Pokemon, I guess like when they say the boundaries between them were blurred, I was like, make, basically like, I don't know if that's a Pokemon or a person, but uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna go party with it. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, those are all the stories I've seen so far. Let me know if there are other stories. Let me know if there are actually Pokemon lore stories that are tame and not this. But of course, let me know if there's more of this. Because I'll I'll, I'll watch it. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I'll read it. No, uh, no, I won't watch it. No, that, that's not what I want to see. Here we are. I'm sure R34 is going to be very focused for the next few months. But good God, man. That, they just went hard with this stuff. These are documents from Game Freak. It's nuts. So let me know in the comments if you want to see any more of these. Please let me know if there are more of these. Uh, even also, actually, I'm very curious if there's more Pokemon lore stories that aren't so sus. <laughs> I mean, I do find the world building of Pokemon genuinely interesting. And so I would love to see more stuff. <laughs> and if it is stuff in this vein, I will definitely read it because uh, it's just, this is crazy. <laughs> I, I was not expecting this today, so <laughs> I'm, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs>